said. <laughs> I think the public speaking. I really appreciate this award. Um, Edward has been a friend of mine for m many years. We actually met through uh, the Special Olympics and the torture. When I first heard of this award, I looked over at, at Edward to see if he was some type of robot or something because <laughs> most awards are named after a person come after they the deceased. <laughs> Oaken inside, Elwood and his family have done great things, not only for Special Olympics, but for the entire Special Needs community. Elwood had a sister who was born with severe disabilities, and during that era, the doctors told his parents that their child was disabled and they, shouldn't, they, they should give her up and not become attached. Elwood's parents had the courage to say no to the doctors and took their child home to raise her. Elwood has said that his sister had inspired him and was a mentor to him and taught him to never to judge another. This is a truly an honor for me to receive this award, named after a man whose family and himself helped pioneer the way for people with disabilities. However, it would be selfish for me to accept it. You see, my involvement with Special Olympics came from an encounter I had in a school playground shortly after I got back from Iraq. I was at the playground with my soon-to-be daughter, right Sophia, who was at the time a tiny little fun-loving girl who happened to have Down syndrome. She wanted to play with some other kids. However, they wanted nothing to do with her and kept her away. Yeah, I kept well, going away from her. Then one of the little boys came over and played with her, and soon after, the other kids came over and said to that boy, why are you playing with that retard? At that point, all the kids took off and left her alone in the playground. I knew at that point we needed to find an organization or, or something where she can belong to. We found that with Special Olympics Rhode Island and the Torch Run Rhode Island. That is how my involvement started. I have met many like-minded individuals who come who come up with all types of ways to raise awareness and funds for the Rhode Island athletes like my daughter. I have participated in several fundraisers for Special Olympics and the Torch Run. I have been a year-round coach and a unified partner, but it's all of you who have participated in these types of events and who do not have children of their own involved in a program who deserve the credit. It's people like Bo Matthews and Jim Cummins who joined Edward and I in a se second super plunge. Leading up to, to this event, Jim's email was actually shut down because he was soliciting so many donations that the email server flagged him as a spammer and, <laughs> shut, <laughs> and shut him down. I don't think Bank of America at the time appreciated it. <laughs> it's people like Jim Bond, Frank Matt Matarisi, and, Je and Jennifer Frost, who when asked to participate in a 24 hour walk around Roger Williams Park, did not hesitate and wanted in on the event. I know it's kind of crazy to have one of the head prosecutors around and walk circles in Roger Williams Park overnight. Jim didn't know it at the time, but however, I had to stay armed overnight just in case we walk into one of his past cases. <laughs> it's the countless others, all who are, who are presented in, in this room, who have presented medals, plunged, super plunged, play unified sports, meet socially with athletes on a regular basis, act as your department li liaisons, host and support the motorcycle run, stood on top of, of a motorcycle dealership's roofs, pump gas for tips, set up their town's torch run legs, sell shirts in their department, set up bowling teams in their department, set up small fundraisers like comedy nights, as well as many other things. All of you deserve this award for supporting families like mine. My commitment comes from my daughter. That's why it would be selfish for me to accept this award. Sophia has had many accomplishments that have inspired me, and it was my driving force that got me nominated for this award. This award really belongs to her, as she is my family's in inspiration. She has been with me at every event and has taken part in everything I have done for the torch running and Special Olympics. However, I always get the credit. Um, so
Sophia, the, this award is really for you. Thank you for inspiring me and being a mentor in my life and the lives of everyone. Most of all, thank you for supporting others for inclusion and acceptance.